your DMV. Fluffy. <laughs> Speak Navajo. One thing she taught me. <laughs> it's so pretty. Staying home is not all what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> oh my God, it smells good. I'm laughing, but I can't really laugh. Okay, see you in a minute. Good morning. I was just gonna say it's so quiet, but then I hear a car. <laughs> it is seven o'clock in the morning and I'm already jotting down notes what I wanna do today. I'm gonna mow the lawn one more time. That'll be twice this week. Grass is growing, I'm loving it. Still have this patch, but it's it's slowly coming in, slowly. All right, new recipe. I'm gonna make the chicken parmesan. When egg beaten then i added three fourths of the italian bread crumbs in here and what i did was i added two teaspoons of garlic powder maybe a teaspoon of parmesan grated cheese a dash of salt and a dash of pepper in there and maybe a couple of dashes of italian seasoning i just felt that that would just not be enough for flavor for us i don't know and i find it easy to actually put it in a Ziploc bag make it easier. Here are my chicken breasts all breaded in a um, greased pan and I'm gonna bake this for about 30 minutes in a 400 degree oven and we'll see how that turns out and just add pasta and pasta sauce. And we got chicken parmigiana. Pasta sauce over it. Parmesan and some melted cheese. I'm glad you guys like it. It's definitely a keeper. Definitely my first time ever trying anything chicken parmesan this way. I'll leave the recipe in the description below. Jay just got home, so now she's like, I gotta go get me some food. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I knew it. The time has now come to see if Queen G's face. And if you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'll answer it here. Get a California ID to get her picture taken. Like, mom, smile at the little blue, they had like a little blue dot. And so she's smiling, and then all of a sudden she was just waiting for the lady to take the picture. While the lady was trying to find the, the picture to click on or something, my mom <laughs> goes like this. Goes click. <laughs> it's like, oh no! We don't know if Queen G is gonna have a picture that has a. <laughs> I found her old driver's license. Cut it out and put it on my new picture. <laughs> All right, let's see, shall we? Your DMV. <laughs> Did you see it? No, I... <laughs> I'm gonna leave. We should have made some bets, Mom. If Is it gonna be... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not bad. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's actually really cute. <laughs> <Let's see. laughs> oh, yeah. That's, that's not bad at all, Mom. <laughs> you got lucky, lady. <laughs> yeah. See, now you don't have to insert your old picture and glue it on top of that one. Mm -hmm. You've been saved. <laughs> Mom and I are talking about my pediatrician. <laughs> I 
I wonder if he's still around. Still kicking. Jay is making um, sush kebabs. Is it sush kebabs? Shush kebabs. Shush kebab. Shush kebab. What kind of steak? This is New York. The good stuff. <laughs> We're going to grill these up with some fresh veggies, red bell pepper, red onion. He added the cherry tomatoes. And we have mushrooms and our zucchini. Do you like grilling kebabs? I like grilling, period. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just asking my mom my last name because sometimes she kind of mixes up a couple of letters. But today, she actually spelled it right. Okay, mom, since you got that right, <laughs> I said, spell Mississippi. <laughs> but she got Mississippi right. So that was cool. After this, you ready to help me put her in the uh, wheelchair? Mm -hmm. it smells good all the way over here. What sauce did you put this in? Cheeto sauce. Mmm. If you guys haven't tried that, you guys should really try that. It's really good. Check on Jay. Real quick, grilling with Jay. Oh, smells good. Remember you guys? He got this last July. How do you like your barbecue now that it's... <laughs> I like it. Almost a year after. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So how long will these grill for? Ten minutes. For that too? Yeah mowed the lawn the other day as you can tell look it's getting green do you see it if i took a rake it was a workout i was really going back and forth scraping off all of the dry grass and then i started to lose energy when i got over there and then i still had to do Ooh, look a feather mm. message from spirit spirits with me i don't know if you guys believe in that but i do but anywho and then i have to do the rest over here because i was demonstrating to jay see all the dead grass when you start raking it and my lemons are starting to get bigger i gotta put some more out there onto the basket there you can tell a huge difference right here looking really nice and fluffy <laughs> And it's not dead in here anymore. It doesn't have any dry spots. Although you can kind of see some, but it's getting there. It's really getting there. Fertilizing it, feeding it, seeding it. Now I just have to concentrate on the bare holes. It's a process. <laughs> so we'll see. Look, Mom, what I found. Mm. Someone's thinking of us or someone from Spirit. That's, I don't know. I said, let's hope for the best, whatever it means. Yep, I agree. Shall we put by the fireplace? Eh? Okay, yeah, I can I can sit it over there. Mm -hmm. Sure. party in the room so as you guys saw I got to shampoo my mom Queen G's hair so now it's all squeaky clean I was hoping that I can take her just up the street to get her hair cut I'm not too sure though I'm not too sure I am I don't have that much time to do it per se today so I may have to wait oh kitty anytime i take up the camera kitty aka my supervisor 
Which way you're meowing. Really, kitty, really? All right. I'm going to open up the door, and then she's just going to stand there. Watch. Well, go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> kitty. I'll let the door stay open like that. <laughs> Yesterday, I actually took myself down and i got my hair all colored one color the ends are not orange anymore i was kind of getting a little bit like oh my gosh that was like my first time ever going to the salon and when i went there there was only one person who was there and it was totally perfect totally enjoyed myself i was just taking the time just to relax and chill and it felt really good doing something for myself <laughs> You know how they say, in for especially for caregivers, you've got to fill your own cup before you can fill others. Is that even right? Anyways, you know what I mean. You gotta take care of yourself first so that you can take care of others in a healthy way. So yesterday was was my time. They couldn't get over how healthy my hair was, but I was telling them, well, hey, quarantine, I didn't really go anywhere, so I didn't really do my hair that much. And if you guys saw all of my vlogs and videos, I'm always having it up in a clip. I rarely have it down. Hopefully that will change now that we are starting to get open here in California. June 15th, we're supposed to somewhat be a little bit more open. We're not too sure exactly. They're having some issues about wearing masks in the workplace or not. If one person in the workplace is not vaccinated, I don't know. <laughs> That's California for you. I think I'm going to go upstairs now to tackle some more uh, mail paper clutter want to get that done and I also want to start filming decluttering again I'm not just sure if I want to just go around randomly decluttering or do I want to like pick an area to declutter at a time and do I want to make it into a series this month or next month I'm not just sure but I know there are those of you who had answered and told me you guys wanted clut um, decluttering videos on my community tab so Thank you for helping the girl out. Okay, enough chit-chatting. Let me get back to the bills. Oh, kitty. <laughs> really, kitty? <laughs> and I placed some seeds in there. I was watering just a slightly over there, too. So, yeah. <laughs> Keeping my fingers crossed. Lightly put some topsoil over that, which I will do later on tonight. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> it's my laptop bag and it has um, Pendleton on it. Isn't that pretty? And guess who made this? It's so pretty. She made this. It's just, <laughs> she, the stuff that she comes up with is just, it's just beyond words, man. Look at that. Wow. I love it. I love it and my laptop loves it. <laughs> I'll leave her link, her Etsy shop in the description below. So funny is that <clears throat> some of you ask if I speak Navajo. I actually can speak a little, but I comprehend, I can understand uh, listening to Navajo. <laughs> When I was smaller, my mom, you know, she tries to teach us. One thing she taught me <laughs> was Shija Besukla, which is basically. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean, mom? Dad, I need some money. <laughs> Give me some money. <laughs> Besukla. <laughs> Yep. Yes, folks, you heard it here. <laughs> no lie. I 
I must have said that to my dad when I was like, I don't know, 13 or 14. You gotta understand. My parents were divorced and that kind of situation where I go over there every other weekend. And so anywho, it was kind of funny. My dad got a kick out of it. He still laughs about that though. So it's all in good fun. It's all in good fun. But yes, I do speak um, more lately because my mom has been, you know, because during the day, we're together, huh, mom? I'll ask her, how do you say this? How do you say that? So in the mornings, we'll talk Navajo in the mornings and so forth. <laughs> For instance, my little sister, Massa. That means cat Navajo. She's a Diné cat, though. She doesn't like chicken. She doesn't like fish. She likes meat. A Diné cat, huh, mom? <laughs> how do you say cat? Massa. Yep. <laughs> oh. She hears it. She does hear that. Navajo urban. Man, check him out. I really, I can hear, I can understand him. Mom and I enjoy watching him. Kind of hard to have two house. One you're fixing, the other one's breaking down, so. Amen to that. <laughs> <laughs> then, and then as I'm doing dishes, I'm watching that. <laughs> go Nights, go! Here's a blonde moment for you. Doesn't that look like butter? <laughs> we door dashed it tonight. We um, ordered from Smoking Pig brisket and ribs and I thought that was better so I placed it onto my cornbread it's ice cream <laughs> <laughs> what an issue. isn't that wow. funny Jay's like I think that's ice cream I'm like are you sure I put it on my cornbread how hilarious and then I really look you can see where my finger went in it sure enough it's it's ice cream Peach cobbler. We're gonna share. Go for it, Mom. There you go. Mmm. It's good. Mmm. Good? Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Not exactly how I want to start in my day, but, but you know, this is life as a caregiver right here. I wanted to do some decluttering, but I don't know. It's all right. At least she's clean now. After the shower, I am giving myself a much needed time, even if it's just like seven minutes. Seven <laughs> minutes. I'm going to use this moisturizing cucumber mask. Yeah, you know, you gotta just go with it. <laughs> I'm laughing, but I can't really laugh. Okay, see you in a minute. All right, the mask that I'm using is the Moisturizing Cucumber Essence Mask. I found this actually at Marshall's for only $3.99. Yes. All right, got my makeup on. <laughs> Now it's just time to um, get mom's laundry going. Our electric company is trying something different this time around where they have peak between 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. So I try to do everything either before 4 p.m. like running any large appliances. Okay, just like laundry chit chat. And if you haven't checked that video out, go check that one out. <laughs> The joke's on me. Staying home is not all what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> Laundry for days. No, I'm kidding. Kidding, but not kidding. When I was working full time in the career world, I'd be like, oh, it'd be so nice to just not work and stay home. And you know what I mean? On my ninth hour in my office, trying to get things done before a deadline, stressed out thinking, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then now this is a total different type of 
stress and work for sure. Yeah, jokes on this girl. <laughs> I wonder what uh, my director at that time was thinking of too because she was in the same way. We we're like, oh my god, we just wish we could just stay home, eat bonbons, and watch soap operas all day. Remember soap operas? I think they have only day in the life or something like that, but anywho. Well, as you saw, man, there's never a dull moment. It's never a dull moment here in our house, especially being a caregiver. This morning, it was a total unexpected type of morning. I wasn't, I wasn't really ready just to dive in there even before having my own cup of coffee just to, you know, get my mom bathed and everything like that. But, you know, it happens. And as an established caregiver, I feel like... I've kind of gotten over the whole, oh my God, feeling overwhelmed and like, how could you and get upset or something like that. I mean, you know, it, it's kind of like, if I was placed in my mom's shoes, what? how would you feel? It's kind of like I always say, kind of go with the flow. Everyone has their days and their mornings where it doesn't go as planned. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay though at least I'm getting the laundry done because that was something hello that we need to get done anyway and mom is happy I'm good she's good got my facial got my got my makeup on and it's gonna be a good rest of the day but I need to say goodbye to you guys right now because I need to start filming a declutter video I hope you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you do to turn your day around until the next one, guys, remember to take care of yourself. I'm taking care of myself. Bye.